In this video, I'm going to solve for the ODE, the y prime plus 6y is equal to exponent of x. So what we are given there is a first order ODE, which is linear. I given a linear first order ODE, which is of the form the derivative of y with respect to x plus p of x multiplied by y is equal to q of x. We can use the method of using an integrating factor to find the general solution. So if we have an equation which is of uh, this form here, uh, the integrating factor which we denote by mu of x is equal to the exponent of the integral of p of x dx. When you are evaluating the integrating factor there, we don't add the constant of integration here. So I'll go on and label this equation, equation number one. To solve uh, that equation, we multiply equation number one by its integrating factor mu of x. So when you multiply this equation by the integrating factor, what we get is mu of x multiplied by the derivative of y with respect to x plus mu of x multiplied by p of x times y is equal to mu of x multiplied by q of x. Using the product rule for differentiation, we can uh, rewrite uh, this equation here in compact form. So what to tra transform this equation here? It will give us the derivative of uh, mu of x multiplied by y with respect to x is equals to mu of x multiplied by q of x. Because what you are saying is if we use the product rule on this part here, it will give us this part here which is on top. So we, it's just like writing that part in a compact way. To then get the solution, we would have to integrate both sides with respect to x, then solve y. So we integrate both sides of this equation then solve for y. So that's uh, the method of using the integrating factor. So let us now apply that method to this equation that we are given here. So what we'll do is we'll compare the equation here and the equation which we have on the left there. So we can see that uh, the equation that we are given here, it is in this form. So by comparison, we see that our p of x, this one here, here we have a 6, so we have the p of x there is equal to 6. The q of x, here we have an exponent of x, so our q of x is exponent of x in that case. So I'll just write our p of x there is equal to 6. So when we have our p of x, we can use that to evaluate the integrating factor, the mu of x, this one here. We say it is the integral of p of x. So our mu of x will be the exponent of the integral of 6 dx. And the integral of 6 with respect to x, it gives us a 6x. So we have exponent of 6x. And as I said, we don't add the constant of integration when you are evaluating the integrating factor. The next step is to multiply the equation by the integrating factor. So multiply this equation by this integrating factor then we have exponent of 6x multiplied by the derivative of y with respect to x plus exponent of 6x multiplied by 6y is equal to exponent of 6x multiplied by exponent of x. But we say that we can uh, write this equation here in a compact form, this one here. We have the integrating factor multiplied by the y. So in this case, uh, having our integrating factor there is uh, the exponent of 6x. So when you write this part in compact form, it will give us the derivative of exponent of 6x multiplied by y with respect to x. The right hand side, we are not changing it. It's just the integrating factor multiplied by the q of x. So this part here, that's uh, the mu of x multiplied by q of x. And exponent of 6x multiplied by exponent of x, it will give us exponent of 7x. So we we'll have exponent of 7x there. So that's the equation that we are having. The next step now is to integrate both sides of uh, this equation here with respect to x, then solve for y. So I go on and integrate both sides with respect to x. And uh, for the integral on the left there, we have to note that when we have the integral of the derivative of a function f of x with respect to x, when we integrate the derivative, we get the function itself f of x there. So on the left hand side what we get is we are integrating the derivative so we we'll get the function that we were differentiating there. So it will be exponent of 6x multiplied by y. 
on the right hand side here the integral of exponent of ax dx is equals to 1 over a multiplied by exponent of ax plus the constant of integration c if we look here our a is the 7 so on the right hand side will be 1 over 7 multiplied by exponent of 7x plus uh, the constant of integration c and the next step now is to make y subject of the formula so to do that we divide throughout by this exponent of 6x and if we divide by the exponent of 6x there we would have y is equals to 1 over 7 multiplied by exponent of x plus c multiplied by exponent of minus 6x so what we are having here this is the general solution of this test order or de